Uh, yes, this is Chong Wen, and uh, I'm currently an assistant professor at uh, the University of Exeter in the United Kingdom. And uh, today is a very a great pleasure to give a talk about uh, fast changing materials for uh, the energy storage uh, that can be a solution for the carbon uh, to reduce the carbon emission for the buildings and the communities. So, firstly, let me introduce uh, the university and myself very briefly. Uh, University Exit is not well uh, known like both in China and uh, internationally. So uh, here is some uh, introduction. The uni uh, University of Exit is located in the southwest of England and is about three hours by train to London. And uh, uh, here we are. I think, like a brief like, introduction here. And uh, currently we are like, in the international ranking about uh, 150 votes for the Times and uh, the QS of the ranking. And for myself, I'm currently an assistant professor and my research interest is in and uh, smart energy systems. And I'm ghost uh, guest editor for the Atlantic Energy and also a member of a young editorial member about uh, advances in applied energy. And also, I'm uh, collaborating like uh, the research with ETH, ATTU, Renewable Nottingham, uh, also in Australia, and so on. And the most important, uh, we have like a few opportunities for both funded the eight and nine students, and also we have some like uh, uh, opportunities for the uh, Chinese student, uh, which funded by the CSC. We every year we uh, have about like fifty. Uh, student, the PhD uh, students, and uh, the latest one is from like uh, 2023. 20, and the topic is like uh, uh, and, and energy. If you have any interest in this position, just put me an email. And uh, yes, let's come back to the presentation and uh, hear the outlines of my presentation. So, the first one is uh, why do we need to reduce the carbon emissions from uh, buildings? So uh, the climate change is one of like the main concerns uh, in our society, and this uh, influences uh, everyone and every world, every country in the world, for uh, from health and to the water resources and uh, the extreme uh, weather. So in the latest uh, United uh, Nations uh, Climate Change Conference, uh, COP26, last year in, COVID, uh, in Glasgow, uh, we have some big agreements for example, on one hand, we need to uh, reduce the utilization of uh, fossil energies, for example, to face down uh, the, uh, the utilization of coal, and uh, on the other hand, uh, it's in just one second. Yeah, sorry. And uh, on the second hand, uh, is to uh, increase the utilization of uh, renewable energy, uh, renewable energies. And uh, in, uh, from my point of view, uh, I guess uh, the renewable energy, including like solar energy, wind, nucleation, uh, Johnson, more hydrogen, something like that, are uh, the, the future of other futures of the energy systems. And uh, let's take any, uh, any example in the UK. Here, the shoe it shoes. Uh, the top three uh, sectors that uh, generate uh, the carbon emissions, including like the power and uh, heavy industry, the transport uh, sectors, and also the homes and the communities. And also uh, we have like the government has a um, uh, very uh, ambitious uh, objective to reduce the carbon emissions from these uh, sectors and uh, Heat and uh, buildings, and is like very important to achieve our uh, target in the in the UK. And here the, is is like uh, an estimation. If we don't take any actions from in the UK from like home and uh, buildings, we can see that if we don't have any solutions for this, the buildings and uh, heating system will generate like uh, eighty megawatt ten. Uh, so to emissions that uh, if we can take some like solutions with uh, by introducing uh, renewable energies or some other solutions we can reduce like more than 50 percent like less than 40 uh like with 10 carbon emissions from uh, these uh, sectors 
And uh, uh, currently in the UK, from the point of the technologies, we have some like uh, solutions example. We have some like demonstrations for the community heatings used like uh, uh, hydrogen and uh, also, uh, I keep like uh, my opinion on this uh, idea. Uh, in my uh, mind, it is a little bit crazy to uh, burn the hydrogen to heat the house. I guess it's not so like high efficiency to use the hydrogen. And also, we have some like uh, solutions. For example, the government encouraged to install like a heat pump and also solar PVs and also uh, geothermal, uh, geothermal uh, energies. A lot of these uh, cases we have like uh, to, to to use to tackle the climate change in, in UK. And uh, uh, yes, for uh, this study, we try to upgrade like uh, the buildings in UK to reduce the carbon emissions. For example, uh, most of the buildings, the houses uh, in the UK was built in 1930s, almost 100 years. So the energy efficiency is really, really low. For example, almost maybe uh, this like uh, the energy efficiency rating in used in UK. Most of the houses like uh, in like a D or C level. So it is like uh, uh, significant to improve the energy efficiency for these houses that can uh, reduce the like uh, carbon emission uh, emission uh, very significantly. So our uh, proposal is to use like uh, the renewable energy, the solar PV, and also the phase changing materials as uh, and, and storage unit. Sorry. <laughs> And uh, we try to uh, use these two methodologies to upgrade uh, the energy efficiency in this uh, unit system in the UK. And uh, uh, in this study, we try to focus on um, the, the end storage unit and use like exchange materials. And he has like a uh, uh, schematic uh, uh, diagram for this uh, tubular exchange uh, material uh, end storage system. And uh, here's uh, the idea that uh, uh, yes one of the drawbacks of the fat chain material that uh, the previous tweet has uh, mentioned that like the lower uh subconductivity yes and uh, here we try to uh, improve the melting performance and by introducing like things and uh, nano uh, nanoparticles and uh, we Try to uh, evaluate like the performance of energy materials, things and particles. And the particles you use like the uh, computation of the dynamics. And the most important, if we would like to evaluate the thermal behavior, we need to involve like the energy store, uh, the energy creations uh, for the safety. And then um, the second one is like we need to source term to describe like momentum thing for fast changing materials. And also, uh, like when uh, we need to mention that with the initial boundaries uh, and initial condition and the boundary conditions. And so, if you want to evaluate like the burning pro uh, process of the fast chain of material, then we need to key it to ensure that uh, the initial state of the fast chain of material is solid state. So, that's like we need to take care of to uh, be careful about uh, the initial conditions for the medical simulations. And uh, uh, we try to, after we uh, develop the model, we try to validate our model against external data. And fortunately, we have found some like uh, external data in literature, and we compare the results from uh, our numerical model and against external data. And we can see from this figure that uh, the experimental data is like a, a good agreement with uh, the external data and uh, the result. And also, we performed some like a verification studies, including like mesh independence and uh, and uh, time step time step independence. And uh, after uh, ver verification, we choose we we choose uh, we choose the, the time step of uh, one zero point one uh, second and use like medium uh, mesh for uh, performing the uh, next uh, simulations in, that I will show in next few slides. And the first ones we consider like the pure PCM, and we try to figure out like the revolution of the interface between solid phase and uh, liquid phase. Here we show like the two uh, 
because of the like temperature and the liquid fraction, we can see that even uh, without like the things and uh, uh, nanoparticles, uh, we can see that uh, the natural convection uh, dominates uh, the melting process of the best changing material. And it is like uh, a detailed figure to show the vectors of the melted the best changing materials. We can see that clearly it's, it's like the natural uh, uh, convection. Hey. And the second part we discussed about uh, uh, the rules of nanoparticles, we use like three uh, cases, hey. with like uh, Three percent, uh, three percent, and uh, nine percent of the nanoparticles, and then we have here we show the result, the result from like the case of uh, three percent uh, nanoparticles, and uh, we can see that even a, uh, I guess uh, the upwards from like uh, the result from uh, pure PCM and uh, uh, bottom ones from like nanoparticles yeah. and no PCM with 3% uh, uh, nanoparticles. And here we can see that even at the initial study, we can see some difference. And uh, yes, uh, there's two uh, profiles show some difference. You can see that if we would like to uh, use additive like 30% uh, of uh, nanoparticles, it can improve like the melting performance of the changing materials by uh, 50% uh, that's uh, like a significant number for the uh, enhancement of phase change uh, behavior of the PCM. And also for the third part, we try to figure out like uh, the rules of the themes in enhancing, uh, in enhancing uh, the melting process of the phase change material. We use like the uh, best themes uh, configurations to enhance the uh, best change process, and we can see that we have some like uh, different uh, configurations here, and we have some result with like uh, different configurations. And uh, yes, uh, obviously, if we can use the things, we can like improve uh, energy efficiency by like uh, seventy to uh, the around like 80% of, of the melting uh, performance. And also for the last part of the result, uh, we compared, uh, we combined uh, like the beans and the nanoparticles. And uh, we can see like some uh, improvement if we use like the combination of beans and the nanoparticles, it can improve like the uh, performance by like the the idea of four percent that's the same number if we can use this kind of combination of things and particles in our study and here's our like uh, uh, summary and uh, first of all we uh, propose like the combination of nanoparticles and the things to enhance the main process of the best changing materials and uh, the second one that we can we found that from our computer from this through the dynamic studies that uh, that Integration of nanoparticles and things can improve like uh, the energy performance by three or six times compared to the uh, pure PCM. And also, uh, we have like future studies. For example, we need to figure out like uh, low behavior in three different nations. And also, there's a lot of like uh, uh, parameters that we can play with the other things, different type of configurations, surface stretches, and so on. And finally, I'd like to thank like. Uh, the final support from uh, Mercury Fellowship and uh, and right, that's my presentation. And I'm sorry that uh, my son made some noise during the presentation. Okay, thank you, John. I think your presentation is really interesting. So that's the baby even want to join us. <laughs> Go ahead, thanks. <laughs> that's okay, no worries. So maybe one quick question. Any comments? Awesome. Yes, I'm happy to answer any questions from the audience. Yeah. If we are a little tired. Okay, so, okay, a very quick question. I think that you may have a big research group regarding this topic, right? Yes, yes. yeah, we have some collaborations in the UK, China, and uh, Japan, yes. 
Yeah. Great. By the way, I think the University of Exeter is really international famous. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Thanks. Yes, and we have some like uh, emissions from from some, like the international office uh, in the college that if you would like to attend any any conference or maybe some collaborations. We yeah. we need to like uh, say something about the university college and ourselves to spread the, like the reputation of the university and the increase might be the opportunity to collaborate in the future. That's why we shoot two slides about the university and myself. Thanks. Okay, great. So maybe you can start.